Hi everyone, it's Andrea and I'm here today to give you my least favourite books that I've read in 2016. So these are the ones who stuck with me as being particularly bad, whether it's because I've just read them or I read them a little bit earlier in the year. So I'm going to start with one I read for Spookathon, I believe, and that's The Salem Witch Society by Kate N. Shields. This had so much promise, but it was like a poor relation of Sherlock Holmes. It didn't quite pull it off. It was really, really hard to get through. It was like wading through treacle. And I just felt, oh no. I certainly won't be looking out for that author again. Although if somebody can tell me a book that they've written that's really good, I might try it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way because, nah, just, nah. The second book you all know I hate, it's a classic, it's a modern classic, I hated it, I read this for book two thon and that was Jack Kurak's On The Road. This book I absolutely hated with a passion, it is just so outdated, the characters are racist, sexist, homophobic and yet they're, we're supposed to believe they're cool. If I met either of them I'd like want to slap them and it's like, Sal, you're a sheep get your own life stop following this twat around because like you know whatever his name was Dean or whatever it is American dream more like an American nightmare I wouldn't want to meet either of those oh so yeah really no I want to collect these modern classics but I don't know if I can if I have to have this in my library because oh, 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 get out of my sight oh hated it hated it um, next on the list of really didn't get books was The Glasgow Coma Scale by Neil D. A. Stewart, which was one of the Book and a Brew books. This book was, it, and I described it at the time, it's a Howard Pinter play in book form, but with Howard Pinter, when you watch a play, it makes sense. Reading in a book, not so much. So, no. Just, no. No. No, no. And finally, another book that everybody raved about, um, it was the winner of the 2015 Costa Book Awards. And that's at Lonely by Andrew Michael Hurley. Full of religious stuff, Catholic. Um, was hoping it was going to be really creepy, wasn't. Hoping it was going to be a bit more of a thriller, it really wasn't. Didn't really get what was going on. And altogether, wondered why I wasted my time. I mean, fortunately it didn't cost me a fortune because I got it from Tesco. But still, I mean, I, you know. I mean, it's like the Daily Telegraph. I read The Lonely One Sleepless Night and it's haunted me ever since. No, no. A Monster Calls. That's haunting. The Grace Keepers by, Lu Lu uh, by, by Kirsty Logan. That's a story that stays with you. The Loney I want to throw in my trash. So those are just four of the books I didn't like this year. They're the ones who, that I've got physical copies of and that came to mind. There were other ones that didn't get very good reviews for various reasons. But those ones are just the ones that... No. Especially the, the Loney and Jack Kurek, which people think is amazing. Those two books are like, I don't get it. I really don't get it. If you've read any of these and you actually get why they're supposed to be really good, and that's all four of them, not just the two classics, if you actually get why any of these are supposed to be really good, or if you like them, tell me why. I'd be, I'd like to know what it is that people see in them. What have I missed? Let me know. I, I certainly don't mind you telling me I'm wrong to dislike them because it's my opinion and you're entitled to your opinion and if you love them that's great. Fantastic. Who does to you? I don't get them. But tell me why you do. Tell me why you like. Jack Kurak and The Loney and the others. Please do tell me because I just don't get it. So that's it really of the books I really did not like this year. So that's all. I'll see you soon. Bye.